Okay, this one is a tough question. 10x minus 2 over x squared minus y squared minus 3 minus y over y minus x. First step, always parentheses. Parentheses around all those nasty binomials. You never know what they could do. Now what do we do? We're looking for what? Say it loud. We're looking for the common denominator, and we'd like to get the lowest common denominator. But things are a little twisted. How do we untwist them? Yes, sir. First, you multiply. You multiply that side by negative 1. What's over here? Yeah. Okay, why? Because? Because the so you, y minus x equals negative 1 x minus y. Exactly. If you know that, and you know it down, if you've got it down pat, you confidently go ahead and do that. And we can rewrite this 10x minus 2 over x squared minus y squared minus, now this is 3 minus y over, now we suddenly have negative 1 onto x minus y, and things are looking a little better. Things are looking a so little, at, at least the x and the y are in line. Exactly what okay? I mean. Okay, one second, I'll take one question at a time. Jason, yes. Multiply that by negative 1? Yeah, we basically changed y minus x, y minus x, yeah, we, we took y minus x and replaced it with negative 1 times x minus y, because they're the same thing. Yes, they are. Wouldn't the, wouldn't it come out as plus y then? I mean, like this negative, negative 1 times x is negative x, and the negative, yeah, it would be plus y, because, and that's what it was. It was well, plus y minus y x. x. Huh? It said no, it was, y. listen, it was plus y minus x. And guess what? Negative x plus y. Same thing, actually, right. once you flip it. <coughs> the long way of doing this is y minus x equals negative x plus y. And then we factor out the negative 1, okay? That's what that. That's the extra step that you're okay. thinking about. Yeah. We went over that many times. So now I'm saying to everybody, here, just get this. You know, go straight to the chase here. Cut straight to the chase. Y minus X equals negative one on X minus Y. And move on. Yes. Yeah, would you, would you distribute the negative one by three minus Y two? Hold on a second. One step at a time. Uh, we're not doing any distributing yet because we don't have a common denominator yet. What, Sebastian? How do we find? What do we do about this part? Difference of squares. So we have to factor that out, okay? 10x minus 2 over x minus y, x plus y. And things are starting to look a little bit closer to uh, what we, what looks like something that we can do. Uh, this is still negative onto x minus y, okay? Now, what, now, do we really want a negative in a denominator? No. Not really. But what can we do about that? Well... Yandering, do we have what do we got? What do we have going here? What do we see? Yes, Jordan. Two negatives equals a positive. Two negatives is positive, right? So we can rewrite this as all right. This is what we were. Now you're losing. This. No, yeah. two negatives is a positive. You just said that, right, Christian? Well, negative times a negative is a positive. You distributed the negative no. one just to get x minus y. I, I know, because we we're going to use that x minus y, but we don't want a so negative plus, x minus y. So that's plus. Yeah, this is ten x minus two. Okay. Onto x minus y, onto x plus y, okay, plus 3 minus y, onto or over x minus y. And that's using the very same principle we talked about all class. We went negative 1 over 2 is the same thing, or negative 1 over negative 2 is the same thing as one positive 1 half, right? That's exactly what that says. Negative 1 over a negative 2 is plus 1 half. It's like this a negative numerator over a negative denominator. It's just a positive fraction, okay? That's a very basic principle. Everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. Now what do we do? We're almost there. Do we have a common denominator? No. Uh -huh. Almost. Well, what, what do we need? Uh, yes, George. You uh, take the x plus y, of, you make x plus y over x plus y times the second fraction. How about we ask this? x minus y, x plus y, does it divide into that evenly? Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. Wait, no, it, it doesn't. doesn't. This divides into that, but yes. that doesn't divide into that. Yeah. This doesn't divide into that, no. so we have to put the whole thing down, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. <coughs> and does this divide into that? Does x minus y divide yes. into x minus y? Yeah. It does, evenly. Uh -huh. So we don't have to write it down again. So just write x plus y? X, we just wrote down x minus y, x plus y, okay? We took this and we asked, does it divide into this? It doesn't do it evenly, so we must write it down. Then we said, well, what about this? Do we need to write that down as part of our common denominator? No, because it doesn't divide. It, it already divides into it even. We don't have to write it down again. So x minus y, that's, our lowest, that's our, our lowest common denominator. What do we have to compensate for over here? 
What do we have to multiply? Do we have to multiply this by anything? No. One over one. It doesn't change a thing. We gotta multiply this by one? X plus Y. X plus Y, x plus y times X plus Y. Okay. Right. But now, uh-huh. No problem. Except for the fact that when we well this is easy, right? We get 10x minus 2. But what about this right here? We got 3 minus y times x minus I'm going to do this up here. 3 minus y, we've got our good old friend from chapter 5, FOIL, don't we? So how do, what do we get when we FOIL this? 3x plus 3y. We get 3x plus 3y minus yx, or xy, minus y squared. And all of that has to be written down. And all of that has to go, and I'm going to have to this in our lowest common denominator is x minus y over x plus y. And we just found that when we boiled out all of this stuff, okay, we went 3 minus y times x plus y, we boiled that out, and we got this crazy concoction of stuff. And it's 3 plus 3x plus 3y, what is it again? Minus 3x, 3x. Uh, plus 3y, minus, minus, minus xy, minus, or y minus x, y right? squared. Minus y squared. Um, is there anything that we can collect here? Any yeah. like terms? What? Yeah. Okay. 10x plus 3x. Uh-huh. Uh, 3y and 3y and... So we get 13x. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that might be at minus 2. That is it. So we've got 13x uh, plus 3y. Plus 2y. Uh, minus, well, we'll do minus y squared here, I guess, um, and minus 2 plus 3y. No, we did the 3y. We've got that and that together. Minus 2, we took a 3y minus xy. Yeah, we've got to take care of that. So that's um, minus xy uh, minus 2 over x minus y, x plus y. That's our final answer. Guys, that's a tough question. Okay, here's your homework. Huh? Your homework is go and do that one again and again. Because that, that's the hardest question to test, and you will get one like that tomorrow.